is himself there just sitting. Anyway, blessed evening, my brothers and sisters. Let's go before the presence of God. Let's pray for protection against the unseen world. Let's cover our families, our children, our lives. Let's pray to God that as we go to sleep in the night, that our bodies are not going to be used for evil activities. You understand? You know how they say, uh, this thing, how they say it, astral projection, that the devil is not going to infiltrate us when we are sleeping in the night, that he will use us to appear in people's nightmare because God is faithful. You know, when people are appearing in other people's nightmares, it means there is somebody who is doing witchcraft in the realm of the spirit taking you, applying your body for evil witchcraft. Because most of the times when somebody reach out to me, I had a dream about you. It's always good dream. And if there's something that I need to know, God reveals to redeem. So we are going to pray for protection against the unseen world, against the unheard world that we do not see with our physical eyes. Do you understand? And the apostle is falling asleep. You understand? Praise the Lord. Let's go before the presence of the Lord. You are my strength, oh Lord Jesus, Father, you are my strength. The joy of the Lord is indeed my strength, and nothing can take it away. From me, claim it. The joy of the Lord is indeed my strength. Nothing can take it from me. No one could break it for me. And the protection of the Lord is my refuge and shield. Nothing can penetrate. Nothing can penetrate. The strength of the Lord is where I stand on. And nothing can make it weak. You see, nothing can destroy it. In the hedge of protection of God is my shield. No one can penetrate through. Nothing can hurt me. No power can shake me. Nothing can touch me, nothing can break me, for the joy of the Lord is my strength. No one can take it from me, nothing can take it from me. Thank you, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before your presence this evening. Lord God Almighty, we give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. We worship you, we magnify you, we exalt you, Yahweh. Elohim, we are so thankful and grateful to you for your grace, your mercy, your love, for your endurance, Lord, your patience, your resistance, consistence, Lord towards us and over us in each and every area and aspect of our lives. Father, we thank you for our children, their lives. We thank you for our husbands, their lives. It is because of you. We thank you for our brothers and sisters, our nieces and nephews. We thank you, Lord, for our in-laws, our mothers, fathers, grandparents. We thank you, Lord, for grandchildren, for some of us who have grandchildren. We thank you, Lord for all the life that you have put in all of us. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for preserving us and protecting us and keeping us alive even in a moment and a time like this. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We worship you. Thank you for being our strength. Thank you for being our friend. Thank you for being our provider, our keeper, Lord. Thank you for watching over us. 
Thank you for covering us against all evil powers. Thank you for being our best friend that is there in every time, no matter the circumstance and situation. Thank you for not giving up on us, Lord. Even when we are not perfect and we cannot even reach the standard of the holiness that you are, Lord. We only pray and that by thy will and grace and purpose, you align us with your will and your purpose, that you will make our faith strong, that you will cover us and protect us in the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, this evening we humble ourselves before your presence and we pray for divine protection from you, our Father. Lord, we ask that you protect us from the unseen world, Lord. Protect us from the invisible demons, the invisible powers of darkness. Protect us from the destructive powers of evil that are sent and manifesting even through people, Lord. Protect us from the self-pity demons that want our attention, Lord. Protect us from everything that is not of your world, your creation. Protect us, Lord, against every unseen thing that the devil is doing, Lord. With or without understanding, we ask right now, Lord, that you protect us. With or without knowing what is happening, we ask that you protect us, Lord. Protect us from the things that our eyes cannot see. Protect us, Lord, from the invisible world, from the dark forces, from the marine kingdom, the wizards, and the warlocks. Protect us, Lord, from demons that are infiltrating our homes, that are sitting in various places. Protect us from the things that, wake, that come up in the night, Lord. Protect us from the kingdom of darkness that is awake in the night, that begins to roam around, looking for what they can trap us into, whatever snare, whatever trap they want to set against us. Father, we cover our children in the blood of Jesus Christ and we pray for divine protection from the unseen world, Lord. We pray that you will protect us from the things that our eyes are not seeing, that the devil is planting in our marriages, in our health, Lord, in our lives, in our minds, in our bodies, souls, Lord. We pray that you will protect us and uproot every evil destruction spirit that has been sent against us, Lord, to frustrate us, to torment us, Lord, to bring discouragement, to bring laziness, Lord, to bring that up and down mood and weariness, to bring bitterness, bitterness and anger out of us. We destroy it right now by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that you are going to protect us from all the evil demons that are emanating from the pit of hell, that are hiding in makeup, in hair, Lord, in our food, in our instruments, in the things that we touch every day. Protect us from the things that suck our blood, Father my God, without us seeing them. Protect us from every by spirit, Lord, that is busy sucking our blood, eating our flesh in the night protect us Lord as we go to sleep we pray that our bodies shall not be used for any witchcraft or evil activities Lord we pray that our bodies shall not be used for astral projection Lord we come against every evil power that wants to use our body our face our souls and our spirit in any way to go and astral project or do any witchcraft activities we bind it and disconnect our children and our families Lord that we shall not be eating flesh and we shall not be chewing anything in the middle of the night Lord we shall not be drinking anything in our sleeps Lord Father my God we pray that you are going to protect us and cover us cover us from the things that the devil is feeding feeding in the middle of the night Lord protect us from the things that they are making us drink Lord we come against all dreams and all activities of eating flesh human being flesh animal flesh human being blood and animal blood cover us and protect us Jehovah Nisi Lord we pray that you are going to protect us protect us from the unseen world protect us from the evil power protect us from the works of darkness protect us from Satan father my God protect us from his demons father my God protect us from his evil powers arrows that he has sent against us and plotted and planted in our lives father we ask this evening and that as we go to sleep, Lord, we shall lay down both and sleep in peace, Lord. For you alone, O oh Lord, makes all of us dwell in safety. We pray for that divine safety and protection when we sleep in the night. That, Father, we shall not be the people that are leaving our bedroom. We shall not wake up tired, Lord. Our bodies shall not be used for any coverage or any witchcraftness, any wickedness, any voodoo or nyanga. We rebuke it. We bind it right now. Jehovah Nisi, we come against all evil blood 
blood covenant, Lord. We stand only under the blood of Jesus Christ. That is the only blood covenant we take, we submit to, and we say amen to. Father, we come against all evil blood covenants that are aligning us with evil powers in the night where they are waking us up. Right now, we go back in spirit and in truth. We surrender our families, Lord, from our mother to our father's side, Lord, our grandparents and our forefathers. We cover them in the blood of Jesus Christ, whatever blood covenant they made, Lord, with the foreign gods, with evil idol gods, with animals and human flesh. Right now, we begin to disconnect our families, whatever period blood that have been taken out of our families from women that have been put in shrines and evil altars. We disconnect ourselves right now from evil altars and shrines that are active in the middle of the night. We begin to bind every evil covenant, blood, ritual and activity that still connects us to evil and darkness. Father, we pray right now that you are going to separate us for you said you shall separate, distinguishing, let the double-edged sword begin to pierce and distinguish and separate us right now, Lord, from every evil blood covenant, Lord, whatever ancestral covenant that has been made over women, over men, over our finances, our lives and how we are going to be as people. We surrender it unto you right now, Lord. We begin to break, break every evil blood covenant, break, break every evil order and shrine, Father my God. Break every evil authority and the power that is coming up against us right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Lord, we pray that you are going to connect us only to you. We submit to the blood of Jesus Christ. We surrender and accept the blood of Jesus Christ, which is greater than the blood of Abel, to speak life for us and our families and our children. Every evil blood covenant that my mother, my father, my grandparents were connected to, that is following me, has followed my brothers and sisters, and it wants to cross to my children right now by the power of the Holy Ghost and the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I disconnect it, I bind it, I cancel it, I reject it, and I refuse it. For I have taken an oath to only save you, Lord. I've surrendered my life and rendered my life, my heart to you as a garment where you can be a temple, where I can be a temple and a vessel, Lord. Your temple, your vessel, I rebuke every evil covenant as the mother of my children, Lord. From the umbilical cord connection, I disconnect my children from every evil order that was connected to my grandmother, to my mother, to my father, to my brothers and sisters, all the way to me. I disconnect them right now. I speak the blood of Jesus against every evil order, against every evil covenant, against every evil blood that has been given as ritual in my life, in my family tree, and in every area and aspect of my family. Right now, I call upon the blood of Jesus Christ to take full total control. I bind all diseases and sicknesses that have already been purchased from the unseen world to manifest in my life. I begin to disconnect my family from evil covenants, covenants of barrenness, Father my God, covenant of sexual immorality, covenant of poverty. Right now, I bind you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever they have taken the wombs of our women in our families, right now, I begin to collect them back. Dominion, authority, and territory, I claim it back by the blood of Jesus Christ. My Bible tells me, Father, that you have overcome so the enemy cannot have power over me. I begin to claim every power that is in the dark world over my life. I begin to protect, to collect every power that is being monitored in monitoring spirits in the unseen world. Right now, I shut down by the blood of Jesus Christ. I render void and useless every monitoring spirit that is monitoring my children, monitoring my womb, monitoring my finances, monitoring my life. Every evil monitoring spirit in form of demon, in form of drugs, in form of alcohol, in form of sexual morality, in form of gossip, slander, backbiting and unforgiveness, bitterness, hate and anger. I bind it right now. I disconnect myself. I rebuke it and I reject it. I refuse it by the pressure blood of Jesus Christ. Let your fruitfulness, your goodness and righteousness begin to reign in me, begin to grow in me, begin to be strengthened empowered in me according to the Bible that every day as I spend time in your presence, I shall be renewed. Father, I begin to renew my family. I begin to renew my family in the blood of Jesus Christ. I begin to restore my family in the blood of Jesus Christ. I begin to renew my family standing upon your word, Lord. Every evil former covenant that has been made over my family, over my children, every evil covenant that is connecting me to the unseen world, I begin to bind it. I destroy it. I decree and declare right here, right now with my own mouth. My children shall not save ancestors. My children shall save the living God. My children shall not worship idols. My children shall worship the God of Shadrach, Meshach, Isaac, and Abednego by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My womb shall not be barren. Begin to speak, Sister Abige. 
fail. And my sister Abba David, my womb shall not be barren in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we stand in your power. The devil shall not keep laughing at us. We claim dominion and authority from the unseen world over our lives, our marriages, our children, and every area and aspect of our lives. We claim it back right now, Lord. Let our faith be strengthened and rejuvenated only in you. Father, we seek you. We seek your mercy. We seek your grace. We seek your forgiveness. We seek your divine intervention. Right now, we ask for protection. Protection from all the unseen things that have been sent in the air. Protection from all the evil things that Satan has released in the atmosphere, Lord, on the ground where we are working, we are walking on. Protection on the roads, Father my God, as our husbands and as we are driving or walking on these streets, we pray for divine protection against all the evil snakes that have been sent, Lord, to come and fight us or destroy us. For you said it, Father my God, 1,000 on the left and 10,000 on the right. We are standing here on the middle and we shall praise and worship and still dwell in thy presence. Father, you said that you are going to send angels. They will lift us that our feet is not going, our foot is not even going to stamp on his on his uh, on the stone right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ everything that they have sent against us in form of sicknesses, in form of diseases Lord, in form of all kinds of wickedness that Satan is aligning and wanting to destroy our lives with we begin to shift to the path where you want us to be Lord we begin to blindside every monitoring spirit, every demon Father, whatever is, has been sent in our lives that is there to monitor our growth, our lives or destroy us in any way right now the unseen world, the devil's world, begin to be disconnected from us. For we do not live or dwell in your world. For greater is the one in us than you, devil. Greater is the Lord God Almighty. Right now we disconnect our whole family line, our whole family tree, everything that we love, our brothers and sisters, including our husbands, Lord. You said that when a man and a woman marry, we become one. We also bind every evil covenant that is coming from our husband's side, Lord. Whatever my husband's mother and father were into grandparents that is not aligning with the will of God. Worshipping idols, taking covenants and blood covenants that are not holy. Right now I begin to disconnect it. I speak the blood of Jesus upon the Rock and Fela family. I speak the blood of Jesus upon the Bota family. I speak the blood of Jesus upon the Kazimbos. I speak the blood of Jesus upon the Mvulas. I speak the blood of Jesus upon every in-law that I'm connected to. Every family tree and line that I'm attached to. Right now, I begin to disconnect everything from my husband's side, Lord. For my husband with my children, we are all connected. Every connection, Lord, that leads me connected to the unseen world, I begin to disconnect myself. I renounce it right now. I denounce it, I mean, Lord. I denounce it. I reject it. I refuse it by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the one who was born from Mary the Virgin, who died on the cross for my sins so that I may be able to have a life freely from any noise and disturbance and nonsense from the unseen world. Everything that is happening in the unseen world which is mine Lord. Everything that the devil has collected that is in the unseen world which is mine from me to my family, my husband's family side. I begin to collect it right now. I collect our rights Lord. I collect our dominion. I collect our power, our peace, our joy, our love and, and forgiveness also. I I collect it back from the pit of hell. I collect it where the devil has touched it, wherever they have made evil orders and covenants. I collect it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I collect it by the blood of Jesus Christ. Right now I collect all my brothers and sisters' destinies and I surrender them to Jesus Christ. I collect all my children's destinies, including my husband and my destiny, my in-laws' destiny, Lord, my nieces and nephews. I collect all their destinies. I lay them before you Lord father may you consume them may you use them may you have your way at your altar let them not be connected to any other altar even me Lord I do not have an altar I come to the altar of the most great high it does not have a location it is everywhere where I seek you in spirit and in truth I disconnect myself from every evil altar you said I shall not make an altar not even in my house for I don't need an altar you are my altar I open my mouth I seek you in spirit Spirit and in truth. Jehovah Nis, I disconnect all my family from every evil order. I collect my family, my destiny, my life from every evil order, every unseen world and wicked powers of darkness. And I bring it before your presence, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Father, this is my family, my brothers, my sisters, the people that I love, my sons, my husband, my in-laws, my dad, my nieces and nephews, my in-laws. I lay their destinies, their lives, their souls at your altar, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for answered prayers. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for what you are doing in our lives. And I thank you for always being on time, Lord. For you do things only the way you can do them. And Father, it's amazing how you always come through. It's such, it's such a blessing to have and to save a father like you. For your love is really immaculate. It's beyond amazing, awesome, gracious. Because you are good and you are faithful. Lord, please protect us, cover us, and open our eyes, anything that is in our house that is connected to the unseen world, anything that is in my life, my home, my children, my marriage, my husband, in my family tree, that is representing, connected, or is exalting anything of the unseen world. Reveal it to me, Lord. I go collect it, I go change it. I will remove it. I will set it in the right perspective and way, which is in your will, your way, and your purpose. Thank you, Jehovah Nisi, for answered prayers. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your love, Lord. And thank you for what you are doing and what you are about to do in our lives. And thank you for having all of us. Thank you that none of us has to run or be afraid that you will not hear us. Thank you that all of us, even the prayers that some of us feel like we need to tell you, we did not speak them, but you've already heard them. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit of God. Father, we bless you. We adore you. We exalt you. And we lift your name high. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The joy of the Lord he is my strength nothing can come against it nothing can take it away from me you see the peace of the lord he is my peace no one can take it away from me nothing can destroy it in the patience of God is the growing patience in me. Nothing can take it away from me. Do you understand? Amen, amen, amen. You heard Papa Roca when we were praying, he was telling me. Not to be loud. You know, when you enter in the spirit, you are feeling the Lord. You just, I know, but you don't have to be loud. Just be in the spirit. That's the most important thing. Bringing all strongholds down, all evil principalities, we shatter them by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, and the Word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Amen. Amen. Anyway, like I told you, I was not going to be long. I was doing this so that our boy can sleep. You see, he's already feeling peacefully. Both of us are asleep very fastly with prayer and praise. We continue praying for our families. And those of you who have still want to pray, just continue. You can continue praying. You don't have to stop because we said amen. You understand? But it's very important that we all join hands together we pray and then for those of you who are seeking god for the fruit for the gift of children the blessing of inheritance as children sister abigail i want to advise you don't ask as people of god that you see online pray for me for a child i am a child of god in spirit and in truth but it's not everybody that you're asking online here and some of you, you are asking demons for children instead of receiving children. They are dragging your womb to the pit of hell. So be very careful. And those of you that are having issues to conceive, 
this is going to sound controversial or it's going to sound not that nice to some people. But I just want to ask you, Sister Abigail, if you're a woman who puts fake nails, fake hair, makeup, stop doing it for seven months. Come and tell all of us what God will do. Because some of these things, some of you have been marine girls, marine kingdom girls. You've given your life to save Satan by, you know, you think you're not saving him, but you're saving the demons by applying your makeup, your fake hair. They've actually have got power over you. As much as you think it's fashion, it's not fashion. You give power over your life and they take something from you. So Sister Abigail, take some time in the presence of God. Don't be desperate or stop, stop counting. Oh, am I going to get pregnant this time? Just relax, my sister. Pray to God and leave it at the altar. In fact, if you cannot forget, act like you have forgotten about it. Keep enjoying to make love with your husband and pamper your husband so much. Put as much love in your marriage, in your communication with him. Don't go to witch doctors. Don't go and ask for help from men of God. Pray for me, pray for me. My sister, a child is something, my sister, that only God can give, not men. Even when I pray for women, and I will tell you, my sister, I have prayed for so many women and prayed together with them. Sharon is here. Those of you with my prayer group or in my Zoom, you know what it is. We have women that when we met them three years ago, four years ago now, they couldn't have children for a long time. Miscarriage is this and that. Today as we speak, Apostle is four years. In the four years of Apostle, I've seen so many children that were not supposed to be born but are born. I agree with you in prayer. But don't ask anybody. And you are not barren. Because in you typing online, can you pray for me for the fruit of the womb? The enemy comes to actually frustrate your womb because he wants to take away what you love the most. And the Lord knows that children we love and that's why they are called inheritance from our God. And the fact that you want to be a mother that much, you go make a beautiful one. Just keep praying, keep fasting and stay away from makeup, fake nails, hair, products that exalt the marine kingdom because some of you the biggest common issue in women in barrenness is I, I, I thought it was so profound the Holy Spirit said if you start using makeup from the age of let's say 13 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 almost 20 to, to 10 years of your life you've been saving giving your life to the devil. Every time you apply makeup, you are his wake, and you can't say you didn't give it. You took his product and brought it in your home. Everything we buy has a use. Why do we get things? Why do we buy food? Is to eat. So even makeup has got, everything has got physical use and spiritual use. That's why Nyangas, they use God's trees, which are meant to be part of his plan and creation for juju. For juju, voodoo, and yang. So I want to advise you, my sisters. This one, the Lord said to me, I thought it was so profound. He said, look around, your sisters. Barrenness came when women started to slay so much. And if you go to the village, the woman who don't wear makeup has got nine children with no issue. And she lives around ten witches that fly in the night every day. But she keep giving birth. That some of you even see it. You say, why do the poor people give children so much they can't take care of them? I need to tell you this. Some of you, if they don't make you barren. You understand, Sister uh, Abigail, Abigail, Sister Ada David, you understand me? They go to your man, also the demons. When you're taking those products, you are like their queen. So any man that comes around you will not perform like a real man. Sisters, wake up, be alert. Be vigilant. Some of you, the smallest things as your lipstick is the reason why you can't pre get pregnant. And if God could whisper it in your ear, you would think I'm sounding crazy and mad and you are going to say, ah, this woman. But that's why Sister Abigail, you are here on this page. You don't have to subscribe. You have a badge already, I see. I'm going to wait for seven months. This year just started. <laughs> Stop using all this rap. <coughs> Come natural.
Let me tell you, you are going to frustrate the powers of darkness that are hovering over your life. Your husband is going to see you in a different dimension. And your husband is going to give you knack that you never had before. And when you're in that bedroom, enjoy it. Don't do it to make a baby, sister Abigail. Enjoy that man I'm seeing on the profile picture. Hug him. Hide him under your bosom if you can. Sister, that apostle, that she don't hide about this. I'm a married woman. I teach married women. <laughs> Hello. Hide him under your bosom. In the morning when you're going to wake, early morning, wake up five minutes, ten minutes. Pray to God before he's awake. Pray to God, pray to God. When he enter shower, hmm? when you enter shower, follow him behind you. Follow him. Go and scrub his back. Sister Abigail. Eh? Sister Ada David. In fact, the reason why I'm taking time for you because is that of last name David. My husband is David. So I share love for every David wife. Somebody, if your husband is David, you get extra love and treatment here because my own is David. And I like to believe in my life that all the Davids are just sweet men. They, they know how to rock you well, well, like the way the Lord say that. You shall love your wife, <laughs> your wife of your youth. Yeah, Abby. <laughs> Go follow him in the bathroom. Scratchy back, scratchy back, scratchy back, scratchy back, scratchy back. I don't want to give you details. You know when you enter in the bathroom there. And when you finish, be feeding him breakfast to be stupid and radical. If you have no child in your house, be radical, extra romantic. Not romantic. Ro 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 romantic. You understand me? It's the time you feed your husband. Some of us, we feed our husband. Now you see that why the Lord was making us feed Papa Rukafe at the right time. Because it's that Janet, at this point, I cannot feed Papa Rukafe because the pastor will come in, in between. So I tell the Lord that I feed him breakfast. Well, well, feed him. He says, speak life. If you cannot say, baby, I love you, the Lord is your shepherd. You shall not be in want. He will make you lie down in greener pastures. 1,000 on the left, 10,000 on the right. Nothing is going to come near you or harm you. You only in witness the wicked get punished. And he has already prepared the table in the presence of your enemies. And whatever you do and touch shall be blessed and multiplied in double portion, seven folds, just like a blessed jewel in the name of Jesus Christ. And every time you see, sometimes not just slap your bum like that. Bah! I love you, baby. When you're cooking, you see him leaving. I love you. Hey. That's the only thing that is making some of you not get pregnant. Extra love. Satan is taking away from you because it's called love making. You are just knocking. There's no love in there. She put love extra. Here. And don't talk, talk to people because sister Abigail, the Lord has not confirmed you barren because I would have not taken this time. God never makes a mistake. I don't know you. We've never met. But I am telling you the truth. Trust and if you have faith in God, if you believe I can pray to God, and if you have seen my story, if you have never heard of my story, go and look for my testimony. Go and hear. If he has come true for me with two pregnancies that children almost die, this one and the second day, the middle one, God is faithful and great, my sister. I need you to understand, okay? And to all of you who are trusting God for children, be patient. Pray, and when you finish praying, don't go outside and start asking people, oh, could you please pray for me? Because then your faith is so small. You told God from your ears to God's lips. And if God wants people to pray for you, they will do it without you even knowing. Every day, God is making people pray prayers. She did not know who she was praying for. The prayer was meant for you. It is for God to know and for you to have faith in God. Amen. And Sister Ada, don't commit your boys to this order. This is not an oath. I am a servant of God. Sister Ada Nwani, I want to also give you some wisdom, my sister. I don't know everything, but when I see something, I like to correct it, especially if God has already revealed to redeem and has already given me enlightenment and conviction over it. Nobody is connecting to this order. I am a servant of God, a vessel of God, and we are all connecting to the order that is above there. The altar in heaven. Sister Adan Nwani, the prayers we are doing tonight, 
this thing of I connect my children to this altar, I connect my family to this altar. It be the reason why some of you were praying these prayers that we just finished praying. Yes. Every time you say you connect, he wants that permission. Just like I tell Sister Abigail, I'm a real woman of God, but if I'm not a real woman of God, I was fake. What are you connecting to? Where are you bringing your children? Sister Adan Nwani, even you, you shouldn't have an altar, not even in your house or a room. Make your heart, your body, living sacrifice and temple for God. Only have one altar, the altar of God. I don't have an altar, not even in my house, where I put a Bible, where I go to kneel down. Remember, God don't like, I don't like idolism. A lot of people preach about having an altar. That altar they build in their homes, they never even sit one day to pray on that altar. If you really are a child of God, the people in prison who received Jesus in jail, where did they have the time to have an altar and a special place where they can pray? Nowhere. He was praying next to the toilet and his friends are seated in that same room. Somebody pooping, somebody praying to God. So stop this rubbish nonsense that they are teaching you, my sisters. I love you and that's why you, you might think I'm rude, but I'll always take time to tell you something deep. We don't have altars. If you have an altar, you cannot connect to the altar of God. God is an altar already. You cannot bring an altar to the altar of the Lord. <coughs> it is idolizing foreign God, worshipping deities. It means if you have an altar, you are a God too. And I'm very, I'm not the most intelligent woman, but I'm very sensitive, Sister Adan. When somebody says they connect to this altar, no, 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 no. You see where you make a mistake? It is the altar of God. Because if this was an altar where all of you can connect, then all of you, your prayers, if you pray today, they should be answered tomorrow. No, we are connecting to the altar whose space and time is for you, Sister Adanwe, for Sharon's time, for Abigail's time, for Connie C. Simba's time, for Faith J. Collins' time. Because he's the only one who keeps time for all of us. The Lord God Almighty. In the name of Jesus. So be very careful. The smallest things you do is what keeps us far from God. And that's why the devil is a lie. So you are not connecting to this order. Rachel Botter doesn't have an order. She's a vessel. Temple of God. You understand my sister? And if you have connected your children to any order. When we finish this program, take five minutes and look the right scripture. What is the right scripture that you can use to make sure that you disconnect yourself from every evil order? I'm going to look. I cannot come up with, I'm not going to lie and come up with verse to lie to you. But if you look in the Bible, even if you, you try to check the transcript of the Bible at the end, it tells you evil orders. You can see how to come against them. I want you, Sister Adanwe, I want you to go and disconnect your children. I want you to go and tell God every altar I've connected to and even the altar that I have made myself, I break it right now. It's blocking you. Look, it doesn't even make sense. Come as you are. None of us came with the altar. And that time that they used to make altars, that's why Jesus came. That's why I tell Sister Abigail, Jesus came. If she trusts in the Lord for pregnancy. Disconnect everything that she's doing. Seven months I'll be waiting. And Sister Abigail, when it happened, me, I like to get my reward, not money. You have to call me for Omogo. <laughs> my sister. <laughs> Mama David, you see me, I'm a respective girl. Oh. I'm a respective girl. Now I be a respective girl. I'm fat, I take care of baby. Well, well. You go be sleeping there. I have the baby on the back. The only word I want is I go for Omogo. You know, I'm already a grandmother because these children that I had in my prayer group, they make me grandmother. I have one grandchild. Sister Sharon, remember, eh? we have one grandchild from South Africa. Sister Sharon, we also have a grandchild from Zambia. You know, Moana made us a grandmother. Moana. Who else made us grandmother with these children? So, Umugori, we do Umu. You understand? Yes, I'm going to come for Umu. You understand? I'll be on my way on the phone. While you're calling me, when labor starts, you just come and... I enter. I enter plane straight away. We go bind, cast the devil to leave you alone in the in the delivery room. You go deliver well. You understand? My own is Umugo. Mm -hmm. I thank you, Master. 
Sister Abigail, Mama David, thank you. Sisters, you have heard everybody witnesses. You say, she say, yes, ma, I will. And you don't have to call me ma, my sister. We are sisters. Don't use, don't give power so much to things, okay? Be very careful with our words. Don't call me mama. Don't call me papa. Because you know why? The word mother was given to, that's why even you sis, when you get your child, nobody, not even your sister-in-laws have the right to call it anyhow. Oh, mama, mama, mama. Mm -mm. Just like Beverly and Sharon calls me sis. If you want my other nickname that the Lord gave me, now post the bicycle because you know I the right bicycle. Ka, ka, ka. Ade chof chof. <laughs> In our language, in Yanja, I say chova. Ade chova chova. But don't call me mama because I'm not your mother and I will never be. I am your sister. We are equal. Even if you don't call me apostle, you call me by my first name, Rachel. I love you, my sisters. Don't call me ma. Don't make yourself little. Yes, I'm going to put him down. Don't make yourself little. We are equal in the presence and the sight of God. He values your life just as mine. It's something that I have learned very sensitively to God. Okay? You are my sister. You understand? Yes. Your husband, you, when I meet your husband, you are going to think maybe I'm strange. With men, the Holy Spirit has told me, I say, hello, my brother, I even go need that for, for me. Because men is a different sexuality and a, a gender than me. And the Lord said, he created a man before a woman. It's not that the man is superior. But we have to give credit, honor to God, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and show respect to your brothers. So when it comes to my brothers, you know, I, my sister, I am always in contact with my fellow sisters. But the brothers, I put them in prayer. Even Sharon's husband, Sharon will tell you we are close, but it's rare that I go play rubbish with my brother. No, 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 but I love it because my brothers, they always treat me with grace and respect and love of Jesus. You know, when I enter UK, even if I don't see my brother, Sharon husband, <laughs> my sisters, he didn't call me, you know, he called me on video, he just want to greet me, he just want to shake up on me, he going to make me cry, this God has given me too much sometimes, I thank you, I thank you, God, I thank you, let's close my sisters and my brothers, I love all of you, I'll see you tomorrow by the way of the grace of God, and remember, you have a relationship with God. He loves you. He listens to you. You don't need to ask anybody to pray for you. You don't need to connect to any other old. And you don't need to belittle yourself to show that you, you acknowledge the grace over somebody. You don't have to. You understand? You don't have to make yourself small to show that you are really acknowledging the grace of God in the service of God. Lie, lie. I love you, my sisters. And Apostle Moni and Sharon, they know that me, oh, my sisters, me, I don't have manners. I only have Holy Spirit, and I'll be the childish one. I'll tire you if you want to act only at that, that, like that. The Lord will show you. <laughs> Somebody said, I remind of John the Baptist. I said, my sister, what the Lord called me. That's the first thing he said. I never understood about it, John the Baptist. But he just taught me that I was the voice in the wilderness. I never understood my sister because you know the English. But now, I get it. Even my hairstyle, you don't see them here smash my brother, John the Baptist. And that's why even my last born, he told me, I've got this one to be an apostle. Because in your family, there's a John the Baptist. This one is John. This prayer just put so much joy. And the Lord has answered our prayer. Somebody say amen. Say amen and thank the Lord. I love all of you and keep praying. And God put love in your families. And in your husbands, nobody will do it for you. Make sure and anybody who wants to listen to you and your marriage problem, they are not good for you. Or anybody who wants to hear you and your whole thing. God has made us one with all people. Sometimes it's blocking us because the same, the same mouth gossip over the man. Let's be wives that are Proverbs wives, honorable with the glory, the grace and the mercy of God. You understand? And every day, you have to remind him. You love him, you appreciate him, and you thank God for him. My sisters, those of you who have husbands, you might not have children yet. They are coming. It might take eight years like Sarah and Abraham, but your Isaac is coming in the name of Jesus. It might take a hundred million years and those too close. 
But the Lord is always going to save one for you. Brother Warren. <laughs> That's why I was happy. Oh, the Holy Spirit never told me that. Smell your brothers. Holy Spirit, you didn't tell me that I'm a brother. Enter. Hey, thank you, Lord. Who are Come, oh, let me give you anointed Thessalonian kiss. Because my brothers are they give anointed. If you think that is prostitution, go and read. Sister Sharon put the scripture of Apostle Pope. He sent kisses for all of us, brothers and sisters. Holy kisses. Hello, you give your brother holy kiss. God bless you, my brother. Brother Warren, I love you. Happy blessed 2024. And I pray that God is going to do only what God can do for you in your life. And we pray that God is going to fulfill you. Me, I pray personally that God is going to fulfill you to everything that you have asked him. And may he answer every prayer and every question that you have asked. Brother, you may come late, but you are not, you know, you can always repray it and join us in prayer. It would be nice if you, when I post the video, we pray it again and enter into prayer by yourself. Because prayer never get old. Prayer of 10 years ago still be there. I want you to pray, brother, because the things we are binding is very important. Binding the things that our eyes don't see. You see, James was there today and uh, uh, brother Warren is here. Every time these brothers come on my life like that, the Lord will oh, give me 5,000 or 10,000 euros. I don't know why they do me like that. Last time, that's how we bless me like that. Sister Sean, I'm telling you the truth. Oh. Brother Warren, thank you for coming. May I go to Shadrach. Shadrach begin to just show for the sweet kids and the offers. Thank you, Lord. And the widows, thank you. <laughs> my sisters, you think me I'm crazy. Me, I had to talk to the Lord. Mama, tell so. And the joy is too much. I don't know why. But you see, my brothers came. My sisters, you know. And they rejoice because God has given us brothers that don't want to knock us, but want to pray with us and for us. <laughs> that thing, it didn't make sister that so happy. If Jesus was not the God that he is, hey, Lord, oh, now men raise some of us. So if you see us extra special and loving to me, my sisters, now men raise us. If you are a woman raised by men, una go thank the Lord for men. Because it not be easy for men to change diaper of woman. Because how everything is made, you know it. You get it. You get it. Thank you. May God bless all of you. I'll see you people tomorrow. Let me go and beat my apostle to bed. My husband, I see him looking at me like I did ice cream. <laughs> he want to eat ice cream. Oh, no, no, no. Sister Sharon, let me carry the go, brother Warren. <laughs> Replay it and pray. And brother Warren, I hope I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm going to give you a call Wednesday morning because Wednesday I need to make a couple of phone calls because you know I'm changing some schools for the boys and they are getting ready to, to get into this new year. You see a lot of things. I'm going to call you Wednesday in the morning, brother Warren, with brother James. Brother Warren, I'll also add you in the WhatsApp group because I have your number. I just forgot. Sister Sharon, I'll, I'll send you the number for brother Warren so you can add it. Hmm? may God bless all of you have a blessed night love all of you believe God for anything and everything believe for it like my son Apostle says believe for it believe in Jesus Christ for it